everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, which will probably up be uploaded a week later. Happy December. <laughs> We're going to be playing some spooky snow game today. And yeah, let's, let's get some spooks in there. Let, let's get scared. Let's get them scrolling tins. <laughs> I should sleep, but I... But here I am. Hello, Master. Hello, Pikachu. How was your turkey day if you were celebrating it? And how was your day today? Because <laughs> I know it's a day later for you. How's it going? How's it going? You should take care of yourself, though. Don't stay up too late. <laughs> Franklin the turkey is kind of a jerk. He said he wouldn't credit me for the ingredient. Oh, what? What? He wouldn't credit you? Okay, maybe Franklin should get eaten by Tortimer then. We don't stand people that, that steal your hard work and don't even credit you, man. What the hell? Where I am, Thanksgiving does not exist. Oh, I wish I was there. I wish I was there. On, on Planet Fun Star, we celebrate a lot of the American traditions and I hate it. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Totem is just one of those old time boomers that don't follow the current world. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I don't know what I was doing. But I'm getting scared, I'm sure. Several traditional makeup tools are found inside of the drawers. So we, we switched over to Kayako last time. And I forgot what we were doing. <laughs> All bones. Well, looking games like this give me such nostalgia. Yeah, I love these types of games. Let's see. Dirty sheets. I'm guessing I'm looking for something in here. Since there's a save point. <laughs> I did Google the, the guide. So if I find myself in any dangerous circumstances where I don't know what to do, I can just look at the guide. But since we just got started, it's okay for me to stumble around a bit. Whoa. Oh, is this where I'm supposed? Something's preventing me from going that way? Which Animal Crossing is your favorite? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I guess either New Horizons or the GameCube. Because I, I put in way too many hours into the GameCube. And I never quite did the same. I, I played every single English released Animal Crossing. But I never put as much hours into them as I did the original, and New Horizons. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't go there. Okay, do I go over here? No? No? Is that so? I think this is where it came in from, right? Ooh. I like New Leaf, because you got to be married. New Leaf was fun. <laughs> I only lurk today. I'm sleepy and not in the mood to type a lot. But if you need anything, just call and I will always answer you. I answer you. Well, thank you, Pika. All right. Let's... Let me see. I don't like the sound in here. This is not good. Did I... Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the first room I was in. So I'm supposed to go up. Do it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I already read all this. Get me out of here. Okay, I gotta go up then. Uh, that's when my alter ego OC was born. Oh, your alter ego OC. Ooh. So you got Animal Crossing OCs? Or just inspired by a new leaf? Let's see. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of scrolling tins. What? Oh, oh, I unlocked something. Okay. Oh. oh, it sounds cold in here. It smells like coldness. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was this the room I was in? <laughs> sounds cringy, lol, but both. No, no, nothing's cringy about that. I've made a bunch of OCs inspired by games I played. <laughs> Pinch culture is dead anyway, yes. <laughs> cringe culture is dead. Long live the cringe. <laughs> it's not on the floor. March 1875. Mr. Seijiro, I can't find the Minakami village that you wanted me to go to. 
When I asked the locals nearby, they told me that the village had disappeared since December 1874. Ooh. What? 1875? So this is a long time ago. Also, I hope you guys are okay if I turn on my fan. I hope it's- I hope it's okay with you. If you guys can hear the fan, just let me know. Also, whoops. That just crashed my, uh, VTuber. <laughs> my VTuber program. Hold on. Let me bring myself back. <laughs> I hope it's not- not too loud. Also, let me know how the, the volume for the game sounds. I didn't do too many. <laughs> Your comfort is the most important. Thank you. So other than Thanksgiving, what were you guys up to today? I was playing some Genshin. Uh, before streaming. <laughs> I saw that there was like a Genshin stream event. And I got really excited. But then it was like only very specific people can participate in it. So I'm like, mm. I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't need those KFC wings. Oh, too dark over there. Needs game volume, but the fan needs to be louder. No, no fan needs to be louder. No, 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 no. Okay, let me know how it sounds now. Once I exit out of this, you should be able to hear. <gasps> you cuddled with your parents' cat? Ooh, I wish I could cuddle with a cat. There's some nuts that fell from the shelf. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, I remember I was in this room. Okay, yeah. So I gotta go get that key then. Or do I already have it? I'm gonna check it. Arch oh, archive in B1F. Is there like a... Why is there a... Oh, there's like a save point here. So I'm guessing this is important. Well, it is a bad idea to go outside for now. I'll stay inside for now. What? What do you mean? Why do you say that when you're in a room with a bunch of corpses? Excuse me? Oh! Kaiko is a well-trained parkour and acrobatic girl. When playing as her, you can jump over the floor gaps, but in return, Kaiko can't use ofudas, which means that she can't exercise. What? Yo, Kaiko's best girl! Yeah, let's, let's jump over. Okay, who needs exorcism? Who needs them? Who needs them anyway? Damn, no planks needed. I love that. But it doesn't seem like there's anything to do here. Why'd I even jump over here? <laughs> okay, I guess that was maybe just to be like, yeah, you can jump. Okay. Interesting. All right. So I guess we'll see if there's any uh, plank areas to jump off. Ugh. Oh yeah, right over here. This is gonna be a tough jump. I hope I can make it. Yeah, let's jump. What? 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 <laughs> The push and hold shift now prompts always get me. <laughs> there, there should be a better way to do that. Okay, I gotta press and hold shift now. <laughs> okay, it was over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do the jump and press and hold shift now. There we go. <laughs> it's a good thing they have so many shape points around here. Uh, that's both a good thing and a bad thing, I'm assuming. Look. Yuki! Oh! Okay, you see Yuki. Hello! How you doing? Can I give you a kiss? Yuki, wait! Why is she going? And why did she ignore me? Oh, baby. She might be a French person now. Yuki, where are you going? Is she French? 
I think she might be French. What? What is this? Can I not go past there? I guess not. What? The door is sealed tight by the branches. There's no way to open it unless the branches are removed. Just, just tear the things off. Wait. I would like to go over there. Okay. Gotta find something to get them branches off. Okay, so I go over here. Ah, uh, what? Nope, too dark over there. Gosh. Okay, nothing over here. And get some scissors. Get them from the ghost trying to rip off your tongue. Okay, nothing, nothing over there. All right. Let's just keep exploring then. Okay, did I see anything that I could use for that? Yeah, hold and shift now. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Don't worry. Is there anything down here? Nope. Well. Is there like maybe a, a tool shed or something? I could have just used the flames, honestly. Just just burn the damn branches. Problem solved. Let's see. Anything in here? Oh hi there, Solar Unai. How's your Thanksgiving? How was your turkey day? <laughs> Trying to find something to break off some branches right now. Get the, the katana! Why don't you get the katana? Sunken fireplace. Well, it's rare to see such things in the 21st century. One plus one, six. I just read the title. Brain is asking, screaming about ghost turkeys. <laughs> also, let me, let me turn off my fan. And my model freezes yet again, but understandable. It always does that when I turn on and off my fan. Let me bring myself back to life. Give me a second. <laughs> I, I think, cause uh, sometimes I need to just put my fan on and help with my laptop. Cause it gets hot sometimes. And I was playing Genshin earlier. So it got really hot. And I didn't give enough time for it to <laughs> deheat or whatever. What is the word for it? <laughs> Where you get rid of all the heat. <laughs> You're hot. <laughs> Can I? <gasps> Wait. Honestly, where am I? Is that like a thing? No, 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 no. I can't grab that. Okay. It looked like a plank. You mean cool? <laughs> am I cool? <laughs> cool down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool down. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Here's something over here. No book. Door's locked. Elio is room temperature. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. Like, sometimes stuff is, like, too hot. And sometimes things are too cold for you to have. But if it's room temperature, then you can always have it. So I'll take that. Let me see. Oh... Hold on, let me look at something. Pulls up the guide. <laughs> um, let me see. And Kayako jumps inside the mansion. Go climb down the rope ladder into the crack to your right. Okay. Immediately take the key inside rubble. Use it to unlock the door on the northeast. Read the notes. Exit the room. Going through a doorway. Okay. New large bedroom. Okay. I have no idea where I am. So, <laughs> I guess I'll just have to find things out the old fashioned way. I've been caught. What? You like your ice cream lukewarm? I don't know. It could be like a nice little slurp. You know, sometimes. Like, 
don't want to put the ice cream to waste or anything. And when you put it in the, the freezer, when it's all melted, it's not even that good. Why not just slurp it up? Howdy, lovelies. Howdy, Mark. I am having issues right now. Trying to find an item. I like the ice cream more than the ice. Mmm, yeah. It just tastes good. Okay, I guess I've explored all around there. It's not in there. Is there anything to jump through? Oh my. Okay, no. Don't jump over there. What about in here? Have I been in this room? I don't know. Ah, uh, I think I have, actually. Yeah. I don't know if I explored it that well. Wish you the best of luck looking for your item. Thank you. I'm looking for something to cut off some, uh... Oh yeah, this is where I started today. Off from. I'm looking for something to cut some branches. But there's like a bunch of stuff that you can cut with branches. Like, we've been passing up all these katanas. Sure, they're rusty, but they should be able to still do the job. Okay. Maybe just like, get a scalpula. Or what is, what is the bone? From the skeleton. Just get a bone from one of the many skeletons and sharpen it a little bit and there you go. Oh yeah. Press and hold shift now. I'm pressing it. Oh hey, this item. A rare drawer. Oh, there we go. Your hands. Yeah, <laughs> you could use your hands too. <laughs> okay, let's open the drawer, see what's inside. What do we got in here? Oh, a bedroom key. Oh, I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. Let me look. There is a thing about a bedroom key and the red dresser. Go through the door. Okay. Okay, there we go. The scapula. <laughs> scapula. <laughs> There's like a bone that sounds like scapula, but isn't quite a scapula. It's like, I remember I played a game and I, I, I like got the, the bone that it was and I was like, wait, is this a scapula? And then apparently no, it's just a bone. Okay, there was a safe, there is the safe point. Just break the branches off depending on how big it is. It's like growing on a door. The scapula is the right name. <laughs> Okay, so second floor. Am I on the second floor? I don't know. Oh, can't go outside. The bone is called the scapula. <laughs> oh, it is called the scapula. Is it pronounced scapula or is it scapula? Oh, wait, no, there's nothing past there. That was just jump tutorial. Have you guys seen, there's like this one YouTube channel I think it was called, like, Alan Tutorial. I've been in there already. There's, like, this one YouTube channel called, uh... I think it's Alan Tutorial. And he does tutorials, but... They're, like... <laughs> don't make sense at all. Uh, and it... Continues to carry, like, this story. Like, it turned into, an, like, an ARG at some point. Uh where he like gets kidnapped and shit and he like makes tutorials about like how to break out of a room <laughs> with like a, a coin and shit like that. <laughs> I freaking love that channel. Hi. Yeah, I think it's Alan Tutorial. And it's, <laughs> it's an original channel, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I, like, stopped watching around when he gets kidnapped and he has to, like, push money or something in a room. How'd you pronounce A-R-G? Arg. Arg, me mateys. Okay, is the bedroom over here? Nope. Too dark. Gosh, can someone turn on the lights? No? Wait, can I use the key on the branches? Can I do that? 
Does she know scrape off the branches with the key? There you go, problem solved. Also, there's like, it looks like there's a door in there, but I can't go in there. Wait, or can I? No. Oh, there's like a bunch of candles here. Use one of the candles to burn off the door. <laughs> Ellie is now a star pirate. <laughs> Going on the, <laughs> what is it, the seas. Little hardy. <laughs> I can't think. Going through the, the Milky Way galaxy on my little ship. On my spaceship. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Going through the sky. Little Einstein. Oh, wait. Is this key I needed to go down here? Wait, what? What did it say? No. Okay, wait. Where do I use this then? Where do I use this? Go through the door on the south part of the map. Go back to the hall where you entered the mansion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oops, my phone died. Oh no. Well, I'm glad your phone is back from the dead now. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we found a key, but we didn't find a thing to unlock that door with, so. We're making some progress. <laughs> oh wait, no. <laughs> Where's the door that I entered through? Rip phone. That's not my, I feel like I'm going in circles. Okay, that's like the exit. Cause she mentioned something about being cold. Oh. Yeah, I've been in here. Oh, is it this door? No? 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 Is that not so? Okay. Okay. In here? <gasps> oh, here we go. Uh, hey, leave me alone. What did just... Hide now. Oh. Hide now? Oh boy, what's going on? Looks like I really have to hide now. I've got a bad feeling about this. But where should I hide? We must hide now. Okay. Hide on the table! Should I get out now? No. I don't think that going out now is a good idea. Mm. Should really get out now. I don't see anyone out there. Ho 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 ho! There's no one here. Why was I told to hide? They really want to make sure you know to hide. <laughs> Preston hold shift now! <laughs> okay, what is this? Oh, a book titled The Kitty Hada Family, Part 3. Will you read it? The Kitty Hada Family loves the winter season. Even their common re resembles a snowflake. Every winter, they hold a festival called Hikami no Odori, in which they perform the dance of the ice god. Oh yeah! Hikami, Kami, god, he, ice, I guess, and Odori is dance. They also usually perform the ice reincarnation festival during the season after the festival has ended. Hmm. The Kirihara family? I never heard of them. Really? Some old futons and kimonos in here. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Anyway, sorry. I got a text message. A corpse covered in dried blood. If you look closely, the corpse is holding something in its decayed hand. Yo, is this something to uh, get the door? Yes, give me. A kitchen knife, yes. This guy looks like he committed suicide. But why? Gee, I wonder why. Maybe he got teleported into this place with all of the, uh, the corpses and shit. Maybe. Sorry, what family? <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Why can't I open the door? Excuse me? 
The door's jammed, I think. Well, I can try to open it. <laughs> I finally found you. Corpse Party vibes. Yeah, this game has lots of Corpse Party vibes. They even made a Corpse Party reference last time I played this. I think they're very aware that this has lots of Corpse Party vibes. Uh, who's there? Someone's hiding in this room. Well, you can't run anymore. Oh, are you sure about that? I can always hide from my life. Hey, show yourself. Oh. Ah, what was that? I don't like this. It's time to die, no. What the hell is that? A ghost? This is bad. I must get out of this room quickly. Escape, escape, escape. Come on, 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 no, no. You can't run anymore. God damn it. That was a very good jump. Thank you. Ugh. Wait. Okay, I just looked at the guide and it says be ready to button smash. Remember, every jammed door in the game can be unjammed. So was I just not mashing it enough? Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you for the high trick, Kay. <laughs> Hi there, Kay. How's your day going? Okay, I guess we gotta keep button mashing then. Okay. So what, what door did I go through for that? Forget what door it was. Pretty good, fam got me sushi. Oh, you got sushi? I'm jealous. We just had turkey. Ah, uh, but... We are talking about, uh, me and my cousin. We, we've been talking about doing, uh, curry lately. So we're talking about, uh, possibly using the leftovers, uh, from today's turkey. And, uh, using that for some, uh, curry. So what's this game about? It's kind of like, a. have you ever heard of the game, uh, Corpse Party? Uh, we got, like, transported to this dimension, this death dimension. Uh, and we have to perform exorcisms and run from ghosts. And our friends are in here somewhere. Like, we, we saw one of our friends and tried chasing after her, but... She apparently didn't see us or she turned French. Oh yeah, we gotta hide again. I think you need to start mashing when the ghost spawns since it's moving when you're in dialogue. Makes sense. Yeah, this game tends to do that, like, the ghosts will still move when you're in the dialogue. Ooh, Corpse Party was pretty good, yeah! I love Corpse Party. Alright, yep. Let's, uh, grab the knife. Yep, thank you. Thank you, buddy. So let me just read through this, just in case I have to read through this for any reason. Okay, let's just mash through this. For no reason in particular, she says bonjour. A creepy mirror version. <laughs> yeah, so we just have the headcanon that uh, when she turns into her ghost version, she is just French person. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, you're right. We just have to button smash through that cutscene. <laughs> what was that thing? An onio? Why is there a ghost inside this place? Let me save so I don't gotta do that again. Let me see points here. Save there. I'm gonna assume she's gonna start chasing me around here. Just call it a hunch. No? 
Really? I thought this would be a perfect area to do a chase scene in. Oh, wait, 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 no. This isn't where I gotta go. I gotta go to the right. Like how the mashing got faster, the more Elio panics. <laughs> That's how you know I really want to make this work. <laughs> Alright, let's save again. And then this should be where the room is, right? Yeah! I see the, the candles. Don't tempt them. <laughs> if I was a game developer, I would have done that. <laughs> And they did that earlier. They made me have to run through the entire house with a ghost chasing after me. Wasn't very swag of them. The door is sealed tight by the branches. There's no way to open it unless the branches are removed. Well, have I got an answer for you. It's called the knife. The knife can cut anything, even your own heart out. Will you cut the branches with the knife? Of course. The knife is now broken. Well, damn. Whoa, I'm soaked. It's so cold. Wait a minute. This place is... Is this our home? This place is... Is she called Gakuen? Our school? Hey. Yuki! What are you le looking for? Don't leave me! Why is she always ignoring me? I think she turned French. That's the weakest knife I've seen. <laughs> Use it once and it gets broken. Welcome to RPG Maker. What? This place really is Ishikawa Gakuen? But I don't remember that it was a run-down place like this. It's also cold inside. Someone's gotta turn on the heater. Huh? A message? Meet me at the second floor's principal room. Anonymous. Ah, I ain't needing no anonymous. Second floor? Who's waiting for me? I wouldn't want to meet an anonymous person. You never know who they are. They're probably going to steal my wallet. Okay. Let's find a staircase then. Man, they got a, a fountain inside? place oh blocked actually let's just explore the whole school why not why not the worlds are oyster oh what is this this place is hmm what is this this place was my classroom back then oh that's desks Back then, it's onanismus. <laughs> oh, backstory? Okay, that concludes today's class. See you tomorrow. Oh, we're learning science. I'm not a fan of science. Where's that math? That might be math. I'm also not good with math. Hey, Yuki, do you want to go home together? Uh, sorry. I don't mind. Um, mind if I join you two? Going home alone is pretty much boring, you know? Well, ask Yuki. I don't mind. Thank you, Yuki. You're very kind. Well, I actually mind. Eh? But why? She doesn't like him. To all students that are still in the school, please go home in a group. This morning, a brutal murderer that had killed three children had escaped from his room in the mental hospital. Please don't go home alone. That is quite the school announcement to make. What? <laughs> okay. That's the most British teacher I've heard. <laughs> Uh, ah, yes, class with only three students. I feel like they could have worded that better. Yeah! <laughs> that doesn't sound very professional. I guess we should go home together. Ah, yes, brutal child murderers out and about. Let's go together. <laughs> 
That wording is so weird. Let me guess, the murderer is in the school, isn't he? Back then, we're lucky that we came back home safely. Even as a kid, I'll panic. Oh, yeah, who wouldn't panic if they heard that? Even if you're not a kid, like a, a child murderer? Bruh, even as an adult, I'd be scared. He'd probably think I'm a child and try to kill me. Well, there's no time for being nostalgic right now. I better start looking for you. How is that nostalgic? <laughs> ah, yes, that time we walked together because of a murderer. <laughs> Excuse me? There's a note on the table. Come. No. I see you. You don't see me? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. I see you, but you don't see me? Oh boy, it sure was cool that time a murderer was on the loose. <laughs> Great memories. Die. Oh. Oh, baby. I don't like those notes. Headless corpse. Judging by what's splattered on the wall behind the corpse, it is likely the corpse's head was completely smashed into the wall. Ugh. Oh boy. Don't, don't do that shit to me. Bruh. Class Journal, Wednesday. April 13th, 1996. Yuki was absent. April 14th, Yuki was absent. April 15th, Yuki was absent. Someone sure likes Yuki. Go in a group, even though the maniac doesn't even appear in a group. Yeah, why doesn't the teachers get the kids together and be like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take you home. We'll, we'll get some police out and about with you to make sure you're safe. No, just go in a group. I'm sure the murderer would appreciate having more children to murder in close proximity. Like, what? Okay, April 18th, Yuki was absent. April 19th, Yuki was absent. April 20th, Yuki was absent. April 21st, nothing in particular. Okay, I remember this. Yuki had a weak body back then. She often was absent because of it. Me and Taiga often visited her when she's sick back then, and that's why we became friends. I don't know why, but this place seems intentionally seem intentionally to make me recall everything in the past. Okay, well, let's get the hell out of here. Is there a save point? There is a save point. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane, I guess. What's over here? It was badly jammed, there's no way to open it. Jam it! Didn't they say that if a door is jammed, you can open it? Okay. It's over here. Oh, nice room. There's like some blades up there. I would like to grab those, please. That would help me a lot. Oh, nice comfy little sofa. Nothing nearly in here. Prince Yuki, <laughs> bonjour, mademoiselle, wee oui, wee. Oui. I feel so much better now, thanks for this, Elio. No problem, Arduous. I'm glad to make you feel a lot better. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing, oh, hey. This must be the infirmary. I do not like infirmaries in, <laughs> in horror games. They're like the worst rooms to be in. Please have no anatomy dolls, please. There's lots of medicine on the shelf. Please, no fucking anatomy, I swear to god. I hear like growling. First aid kit. Yeah, let's take it. Never go wrong with some first aid. Alright, let's go save. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's our way of healing, maybe? Just what the doctor ordered. It will restore your health back to full. It also contains a scalpel. Oh, nice. Okay, I got a way to defend myself now. Good, good, good. Stab some people with my scalpula. My scapel. 
Okay, I can't get no oh shit. Ugh. Okay, I gotta go this way then. Hello, Yuki? You're not French, are you? Do you do you like uh what is it that French people like? Do you like snails? What about baguette? What, what? Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. What is this? An old tall statue. Music changed, but it's very subtle when you were in the infirmary. Oh boy. I didn't even notice that. Whew. Okay, there's a lily. Ah, oh, lilies are death flowers. Okay, is this door's jam? Come on, open it up. Yeah, baby, let's go. Why we got some coffee? We got some lima beans. There's a key on the table. We got a rusty key. Cool. Man, I should find a rust remover. Maybe full spork acid. Okay, so we gotta go to like a science room or something, right? Oh, a sake bottle. Oh, it's empty though. Old files. Among them, there's a file on how to make a full spork acid. Yeah, let's go. In order to make a phosphoric acid wet process, you'll need these things. Tricalcium phosphate and sulfuric acid. The reaction is... Oh no. What? Do I need to remember this? You may evaporate the water to get a more concentrated phosphorus acid. <laughs> no getting drunk today. <laughs> oh boy. Um... I might have to remember this, so I'm gonna just put this down just to be safe. All right, got a screen capture of it, so we're all good. A teacher's notebook. Oh yeah, let's read it. This is our history teacher's notebook. If I remember correctly, he suddenly disappeared during his class. What? How does one suddenly disappear during class? Aren't there kids watching him? Three days ago, I went to a village near Hiroshima. There, I found a very interesting discovery. There's a ruin of a very big mansion destroyed during the World War II's bombing of Hiroshima. I also discovered that the owner of the big mansion was the famous daimyo, Shoichi Kirihara. Everything's connected. It was then I decided to enter the mansion. Inside the mansion, I could sense many spirits wandering the corridors. Then, I met a female Anyo who kept chasing me until I exited the mansion. For the past three days, I've been having a strange dream about the mansion. Maybe this is the curse of that mansion? I disappeared during class. That teacher is a ninja confirmed. <laughs> Several pieces of paper. They don't provide anything useful. Oof. You got any sulfuric acid? This looks like a this looks like a science king kit. Did I read this already? I guess not. Okay. Anything else I need in this room? Oh! What was the Don't be scared like that. I'm not an on you. Oh? Th then who are you? My name is Shirokage, 21 years old. I'm an occultist and a folklorist. I died during my investigation at the Kirihara mansion. Oh, are you the teacher? Shirokage? Uh, you're the one who wrote those notes in the archive, right? You're right. Even until now, I'm still writing notes about my investigation. Ghost writing? Okay, we gotta put that one down in our journal. We got ghost writing. Do we got ghost orbs? Even as a dead person, you're still working, huh? Could you please tell me where I am? Right now, you're inside a lost dimension where a lot of souls were trapped. 
Souls? Did you mean... Yes. Supposedly, when a person died, he or she will descend to heaven. But if one died in this dimension, their soul will be trapped for eternity. Huh? But why? There's a barrier made from pure grudge that keeps preventing the souls from descending into heaven. That's why I'm still here, wandering endlessly around this dimension. Hmm. How did you die, Mr. Shirokage? Oh, is he the one that was, got his head bashed into a wall? What about EMF? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta check the temperature of the room and everything. Got, got a bunch of more stuff we gotta check. Hmm, an onyo with blue kimono. That's all I can remember before I died. Oh, I saw her. It, it's the onyo that I saw in the mansion. I don't remember exactly about my death. I don't even know where my body is. That's too bad. I hope you can pass on soon. Hello, on a scale from 10 to 10, how smart is Kayako compared to Yuki? 20. <laughs> She's immensely smarter. <laughs> By the way, did you see a girl with dark purple hair around here? I'm looking for her. Sorry, but she's not here. Really? But I saw her entering the school. Well, you'll figure it out soon. What? Why are you being so cryptic? Just tell me. Huh? What do you mean? Pardon me, but I must leave now. Wait! What do you mean by that, Shirokage? Ah, uh, the cryptic ghosts. Well, at least now I know where I am. Can ghosts just, like, for once, not be cryptic? That would be nice. Okay, I'm going back. I would like to save my game. Also, let's see. Gosh, can the, the run button, like, work better, please? <laughs> like, just decides to stop. They're not allowed to be straightforward. That would be too easy. God damn it. Okay. So, let's see. Should we go to the infirmary? Was it in here? Oh, no. It's not over there. Oh. I don't like that noise. Shut up. Oh? Who's this? Door's locked. There's some words scribbled on the door. Only the principal's master key that is able to open this door. Somehow, I'm curious as to what lies beyond this door. Do I have? Okay, got archive, bedroom, and a rusty key. Can't be used to open a door because of its... I, I'm, I'm not so sure about that. If it has rust, it should still be able to work, right? I mean, I suppose it could break, maybe. What is this? What is this? Can't read that. Can't read that. Nothing. It's a whole lot of nothing in here. I have a feeling these are gonna break at some point. Nothing. <laughs> the music creeps me out. <laughs> okay, just a whole lot of uh, <laughs> seats and desks. All right, that was <laughs> good distraction ghosts, thanks. God, I hate the sounds in this room, in this area. <laughs> oh, hey, this looks like a normal house. What is this? I wanna read what that says, please. No, I guess I can't read. Aha, perfect. A tri cal what? A tri calcium phosphorus. Oh, okay. I guess that was some phosphorus. Okay, sweet, sweet. Okay, we're finding some stuff. Let me 
let's see. Wait, no, no, no. Don't go over there. Gotta throw a curveball, huh? Yeah, gotta, you know. At least it doesn't have the Resident Evil problem. Where there are doors, but they're, j well, they, they, they kind of do have the Resident Evil problem at, at certain points. Curveballs are usually faster than straight balls. <laughs> okay, where was the... Is it in here? Oh. No, it wasn't in there. Where was the... I'm gonna say there was some Science King stuff somewhere. It wasn't in here. It's like in one of the classrooms. Or in here. No? Nothing? Depending on the curve, it may hurt more. Ooh. Wait, was there a door there? Oh. Okay, let's go over here. Into this room. I think there was like a... Oh no, it wasn't in here. Where was the thing I saw? There's like some science whiz kid stuff I saw in one of these rooms. Forgot which room it was though. Which curve hurts the most for scientific purposes? <laughs> I guess you'll just uh, have to do some scientific testing to find out that one. Is it over here? Wait. Oh wait, yeah. Just dropping by to say hi. Ooh, it's not the same girl. Yeah, we're playing as a Kayako now. Oh wait, I already was in here. So was it this way? And we see ya, I see you later. I'm guessing you got got family over or something. Have a good Thanksgiving. Let me see, have I been over this way? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's blocked. Okay. And then nothing to really do downstairs. Oh. What's in here? Oh, there isn't really anything in that room. Okay, was it... Hmm. Have I been in here? Don't budge. Oh, I think... Computer lab. Oh, okay. Nothing over there. Alright. Uh, carving from up to down into the no-no spot would hurt. <laughs> okay, I guess I don't have everything. Also, down into the chin. Oh, damn. That would hurt. It's probably where the teacher used to store their snacks. Oh, wait. I already read that. I'm good. Okay, nothing else in this room. I feel like this is where we gotta go to put the stuff together, though. Because there's, like, a Science King Whiz Kid setup. I just like calling things Science King. It's fun. <laughs> the no-no spot. Oh no, the feet. <laughs> don't need a toilet now? Uh, I don't know. I think you need a toilet. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> the fucking bitch. <laughs> fucking bitch. Okay. Fucking asshole. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> God. <sighs> Don't budge. Oh. No. 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 I see an anatomical model on the poster. There's gonna be an anatomical model in here. Uh -huh. I think I can make a phosphorus acid to remove the key's rest in this lab. All right, now I just have to combine the ingredients. Huh. Now I can remove the rest with the acid. <sighs> 
Got the principal's room key. Oh, okay. Get the fuck out of here. Bum bum. I can't go down over there. From down and going up into the chin will absolutely hurt because of the tongue and the knockback will hurt the neck. Oh jeez. You bitch. Stay right where the fuck where I can see you. Okay. Just take me to a safe point, please. Please. There we go. Okay, we got the key to the principal's office. We're gonna go to <laughs> Principal Electra and get him expelled for stealing our dream journal. Is in here? There we go. Safe points are your friends. They need to put more save points in here. Save points make me feel safe. <laughs> hey, what? Mm -hmm. What? Hello? Anyone here? I don't trust save points. <laughs> huh? No one's answering me? I was betrayed in a game once. Oh, like fake save points or something? Need to do some scientific research. Oh my god, Twy. <laughs> now let us know how it goes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone made an appointment with me to go to this room. It was the, the Frenchies. <gasps> Maybe it's Yuki? Anything in here? There's a note on the table. Ah. Uh, you finally came. What's with this bloody piece of paper? Fake save points. Turns out to be a mimic. Whoa, what, what game was that? I've heard of exploding save points, but not mimic save points. <gasps> There's someone there. Uh, is that the person who sent me that message? So it wasn't Yuki after all. Finally came back, Kaiko. I... Why am I scared? What is this bad feeling? Hmm... He's been staring out the window for some minutes now. I'll have to greet him. Hey! Are you the one who sent me the message? Ugh... Hello? Are you the one who told me to go here? I would just start running. <laughs> A new body has come. Let's kill her and take her corpse. We should rip her guts out before that. Yeah, we should do that before killing her. Let's make it a painful death. I definitely have to run, but to where? Hold shift and run. Think, Kaiko, think! Right now I've been deceived by a man who looks like a corpse into this room. I'm pretty sure that he will definitely do something bad if he catches me. I must run, but to where? Entrance is out of the question. The cafeteria is extremely bad for hiding. The kitchen is definitely a suicide option. The infirmary can't be used as a hiding place either. Come on, Kaiko, think. Where should I go? Uh... Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Where? Where should I go? I don't know. I don't know. Uh-huh. Maybe the basement? I'll go with the basement. It's probably the basement. School's basement? Go home, I wish. Th that's right! The basement's door is extremely strong, and if I locked it, I could save myself there. I also heard that it has an underground passage that leads to the park outside of the school's main area. That's it! All I need to do is grab the key on the principal's desk and run like hell to the school's basement. Go home. Small screen, can't read. <laughs> 
Okay, it gave me a save point. Did I save? Okay, there you go. Objective, grab the key to the basement and get the, to the basement ASAP. Okay. Oh, hi. Come on, 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 come I have a feeling that this basement holds a secret. At least it's got a save point. For some reason, this mirror is almost everywhere. The door opened when Elio said please. There we go, we found the answer. <laughs> Say please to everything and you'll get what you want. <laughs> Somehow I can hear voices coming out from this mirror. Seems like the many souls are trapped inside the mirror. That's just probably my imagination. Meta chasing corpse, things like souls that were trapped can't be real. Ooh. Oh, we got some gravel. Let's let's nom on them and get my head cut off. Yeah, baby. Oh. What just happened? I want to become ruler of the world, please. There you go, Twy. You are now God. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, hey! Is that you? Is that the teacher? Shidokage? Kayako. Don't even think about entering the door. Huh? But why? Beyond this door is the tunnel of the lost soul. The tunnel will lead you back to the dangerous mansion, which means that you'll be in a more dangerous place. I mean, I'm already in a dangerous place. <laughs> what? Are you saying that I must look for, altern for an alternative in this crappy place? Listen to me. I didn't say that you must not go, right? I'm just warning you. Imagine turning into a ruler. Time to draw lines. <laughs> You get to measure things. But if you really want to go there so badly, take this with you. What? What's with the stone? That is a spirit stone. It will protect you when you're inside the tunnel of the lost soul. That's mighty convenient. What's with the tunnel beyond that door? The tunnel of the lost soul is a very dangerous place. If you go inside it, you'll hear the moaning and whimpering of souls of the dead. Their vengeful and dark essence is enough to create a strong pressure that is capable of crushing a human, like a meat tenderizer in seconds. Blech. But by holding the spirit stone, you'll be fine. The stone itself is made from pure souls that will protect the holder from the pressure of the darkness and the vengeful souls. You get to measure things. That sounds like a measurable, I mean miserable life. <laughs> I don't know. People always need you to measure things, and you'll always know. When, whenever you're making your house and you need to, like, have a piece of, like, l lumber that needs to be, like, a certain length, you'll know immediately. What the heck? Why is there such a place in the school? I don't remember such a place ever existing before. Are you thinking that this place is the school that you went to during your childhood? What do you mean? This place is made up from your memories. Every time a person enters a certain door in this lost dimension, it will lead them to a place they knew in the past. Huh? But why? That's simply to shake the victim's sanity. Many people who were taken to this place went insane or became trapped inside their own memory. Why did they go insane? That's impossible. I, I, that, it's not impossible. It's very possible to go insane from anything, really. But I would imagine, especially 
when you're warped to a ghost dimension that you would go insane. Imagine yourself inside a place that you know well, and then everything changed into a nightmarish environment of its former shape. And suddenly, everything went dark, and all you can hear is breathing behind you. But when you turn back, there's no one. Not everyone is as brave as you, Kayako. Most of the people that were taken to the Lost Dimension died in this place. Consider yourself lucky that you didn't experience the final stage of this place, where everything I told you will happen to yourself. Being warped to a spooky ghost dimension? Totally fine. Going insane there? Impossible. <laughs> Do I really look that brave? But I guess I'm pretty lucky. What will you do next? Of course I'm gonna keep looking for my friend. What do you expect? Really? So you don't want to find the exit? I'm gonna do that once I've found my friend. Well, this is where I must go again. I hope you can find your friend sooner or later. Okay, thanks, bro. Save the spirit stone. Yeah, baby. Well, here goes. Let me say first. There we go. Okay. Let me go. Now, how do I open this iron gate? Oh, I just need to lift the door up. Okay. Oh boy. Holy. Now I get it. Now you get why people go insane. Oh, I hate the sounds. Even with the spirit stone, I can still feel the pain caused by the pressure of the souls. Furthermore, this place is really freaking creepy. I can hear lots of moaning and whimpering. What? Oh no. The stone started to break. I have to hurry. What? Oh baby. Ah. Uh... Come on, 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 run! Run! Oh, come on, come on. Yes, thank you! Whew. The stone broke! I guess I can't go back anymore. I'm back inside the mansion, but in a different room. <laughs> S statues? Karma, 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 chameleon. <laughs> I have to get a closer inspection. No, don't. Statue that resembles the god of death. Statue that resembles an oni. Statue that resembles a fox. Statue that resembles an Asian dragon. What is this? Hmm? The statue. Have I seen it somewhere? Oh look, statues. Good thing they don't move. Oh, they're gonna move, aren't they? Uh. Is this from the hotel? It's the same statue as the one on the second floor of the hotel. That means there's a connection between the hotel and this lost dimension? <sighs> I feel lonely right now. Is it really just the two of us who were taken into this dimension? I'm guessing Taiga also got taken. <laughs> Wait a second. Shirokage said that there's two other people that got trapped in the dimension other than me. Blah. I've seen Yuki, so the other one's gotta be Taiga. Could it be Taiga? Oh baby, we get to play Taiga now? Didn't she get transported from the hotel? Obviously the hotel is connected to this dimension, right? <laughs> they're, a little, they're a little slow on the uptake here, the cast. Ugh, what a relief. Huh? Who turned off the lights? I thought they wouldn't turn off the light even at night. Oh, well, 
I don't mind exploring in the dark. Oh yeah, let's buy a drink. Yay, canned coffee, let's go. Okay, we got two canned coffee. Oh, he must have a lot of money then. Yeah, let's get it. Is he a rich boy? Ah, damn. No more money. I'm not done yet exploring. Still smarter than Yuki though, yeah. She's infinitely smarter. All right, let's get going. Over here? Well, there's lots of places to go. Or maybe not. <laughs> They're all blocked off. Okay, nothing over there. Oh, spooky painting. Looks like Cheshire Cat. I gotta go eat, have fun hanging with you. Oh, no problem. Enjoy your meal. Have fun, Arduous. You eating turkey? <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I guess my family is a lot different from other people. Because we have our turkey dinner at like in the afternoon. <laughs> have fun. Yes, of course. I'm, I'm always having fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah, let me know how it tastes. Let me know how the turkey and everything is. All right, let's go over here. Gosh, can you run, please? Grab the katana, please. Whoa, this thing's a real one. This reminds me when my father taught me sword techniques. Can you please grab the sword? We do too, but I'm eating leftovers. Oh, oh, you guys already had your turkey dinner? He said it was a lost martial art named Hyo Yukishido or something. Ugh, I can't remember it correctly. Huh? What did just... I don't like that. You know what? I'll just return to my room and sleep. This is creepy. No, grab the sword. Grab the sword! Dumbass. Why does no one grab the sword in these games? 112. Wait, weren't we on the sixth floor? Is he on the first floor then? Okay. I guess I gotta find the elevator. Oh, baby. What? Holy shit! Suddenly it became cold! To be fair, as far as Tyga is concerned, it's just a weird blackout. <laughs> you right, Twy. <laughs> What's going on right now? It makes sense for him to not steal from the hotel then. <laughs> Run? Oh, boy. Huh? Who's there? Run! Don't let the spirit catch you. Spirits? Come on, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, baby. Oh, lordy. Just stay the fuck away from me. Where am I going? Wait, what? Come on, go down. Ah! Where am I going? Where am I going? This one is broken. Bitch, where'd I go? This one still works. The sixth floor. Damn it, it's still on the 18th floor. What? gets the chance to grab a sword and doesn't take it, we can make fun of him. <laughs> what? What's going on? What? Whoa, damn it, what should I do? Get the hell out of here. That's what you should do. This one's out of order. Where do I go? Where do I go? What? Ah! Ah! 
How's my health? Not too bad. Okay, they do like five damage. You have to wait? What? Oh, okay, so this is like survival. Okay, come here. Yeah, stay right over there. Stay right over there. What? Come on, how long does it take for the fuck? Oh god, oh god. Thought it was trapped. Oh, there we go. Gotta haul my ass now. Get the fuck in there. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. Yeah, I thought it was stun locked there for a second. Uh, is Tiger just playing IRL Pac Man? He's being chased by four ghosts. <laughs> Oh my god. What the hell is with the earthquake? Hi, Archfiend. How are you doing? How was your turkey day? How's it going? Oh boy. Those are some flaming skull heads. Oh boy. Suzuku. Oh no. Did Tiger die? Oh boy. Yeah, no no men survived. Do you know how I was born? How are you doing? I'm full. I'm doing okay. Today's Thanksgiving wasn't that bad. It was just kind of a, a really quick and shift. Well, but hello family, let us eat. Goodbye. <laughs> you bought a sword? Okay, you're you're much smarter than the people in this game then. What kind of sword is it? I'm tempted to buy another? Ooh. kind of swords? Katanas? The ice mirror that you stare into was my birthplace. Oh, what? But how? You see, this is not an ordinary mirror. This mirror is what the Kirihara family use in their burial ceremony whenever a family member dies. I bought a Legend of Zelda Master Sword. Ooh. That's so and so cool. Is it like like a real sword? Like you can slash things up with it? Or is it like a display sword? They use the ice mirror to reflect the soul of their fallen family members. The Kirihara family believes that one day, after the soul had enough rest, they will come out of the mirror and be revived. Thanksgiving in November, confused Canadian noises. <laughs> We got a lot of Canadians in chat, I see. <laughs> I know Toto is Canadian, too. <laughs> I know I got a lot of Canadians and a lot of people from Europe that watch. I probably think this that's not possible. I'm not dead yet, yes. Now I can definitely drop people with it. Let's go. You better bring it with you when you get teleported into a ghost dimension, then. Did I say that this mirror can only be used on dead people? Oh, you hear something? Hmm? What's going on? Can you guys hear my family in the background? Because I know my family's talking. Well, at least not in this dimension. Their function is different in this dimension. Then, how were you born? I've never seen any ice mirror before. Oh, I can only hear you. I don't hear... Oh, okay. <laughs> you just stream at very Canadian-friendly hours. Oh, I do? Oh, okay. I guess I'm a Canadian-friendly streamer then. <laughs> Have you forgotten? Have I forgotten what... Oh, boy. You have an ice mirror in your bedroom. It's the Frenchies again. At least you guys are Canadians, not French. Huh? Don't tell me it's the mirror I got from my father. Correct. It is that mirror. American friendly hours are Canadian friendly. <laughs> but I can only watch you from this mirror. Nowhere else. Yeah, I think... I think, like, uh, the same time that it is in Canada is the same time as it is in uh, California, right? 
What, what time is it for you guys? What, what time is it in Canada? Oh, Canada. Don't look at me like that. I'm not going to harm you. Bye for now. Oh, depends which part. Oh. 7.22. Okay, so you're an hour ahead. There's no way she won't hurt me. She definitely wants to take over my body and consume my soul. Oh, your your phone started playing another stream audio, but you're still here. And you did it. It happened on the Twitch app. That is really weird. I've heard some people say, like, during an ad, they can still hear my stream and stuff. So I guess Twitch is just really fucky-wucky with the app. Where should I go? The door is locked. 9 p.m. for you. Oh. Across the top of the U.S., they have all the same time zones as us. It's also 9 for me. Ooh. It is 6 for me. East side. <laughs> okay, well, I see something sparkling, but let me see first. She's not here anymore, but she's watching me. Well, that was a... a oh, the cursed past. Okay, we're in a new chapter. Aha, uh -huh, Westerner. Listen. <laughs> so far behind in time. Hey. <laughs> I'm a time traveler. I go backwards instead of forwards. I would rather go forward, though. God. There's some piece of paper on the floor with some kind of spell written on them. We found several Ophidas. Oh, let's go. How many Ophidas do I got? Several? Hey, that's three. That's not several. If it's several, there would be seven of them. That ain't right. That ain't right. We know what will happen at 9 p.m., Elio. Do you want us to tell you? Yes, please. Let me let me know what's happening at 9. I'll probably be ending my stream around that time. <laughs> well, the door is locked. Huh? Since when this key? No way. The key worked. Who put it on my pocket? Someone dies at nine? What? Who? Who dies? I mean, a lot of people probably die at nine all around the world. Who? Oh, hey. We're out, we're out of the convenience store. Okay. Th this is my hometown. What in the name of... I don't know. Check the news or something. Oh, okay. I'll be sure to check the news then. <laughs> but who died today? Anyone special? Nah. The town looks ruined and the sky is pitch black. Let's go back home. Hmm. What should I do now? Let's go play some video games. This is our house, right? Yeah, let's play with our little snowman. Someone's got to fix our house. It looks like it's falling apart. We should look at the roof. That ain't safe. The door's sealed. What? Nani? The, the snowman? Nah, they were boring. I died repeatedly because you're so cute. <laughs> Psycho Thunder, no! You can't die! You gotta come back to life. How am I supposed to live without you? The snowman is packing heat. The eyes were glowing. Hello? Return my pen. Oh boy. Ah! How dare you took the pendant from me, Yukiko. Gosh, I'm sorry. Yukiko? You added a ko there. My name's just Yuki. Please stop. I'm not Yukiko. Liar. You're Yukiko. Who else got a straight black hair and wears a blue kimono in this I'm not wearing a kimono. You gotta get your eyes checked out, bro. What? But mine's purple and short, and I don't wear a kimono right now. They literally said they died because you were cute. How is saying, how am I supposed to live without you going to help? Maybe get them to stop dying. <laughs> Are you really sure that I look like that? 
To hell with your chit chat. Give it back. Oh, I'm guessing this is Yukiko's dad, because Yukiko's dad was a shitty person. There's no use arguing with the snowman. I better do what he wants. How about you just punch it? Could you tell me where I could find that pendant? This reads like a demon negotiation. <laughs> Put a lot of capitals and lowercase, and there you go. It's a demon negotiation. Have them call you a bitch, baby. Literally Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> like how I know, you're the one who took it. I guess I've got no choice then. I hope that pendant is somewhere around here. Give me a life stone. See you later, Jack Frost. Oh, someone got grape juice spilled all over their house. That ain't good. Oh, can't go over there. There's no use arguing with the snowman. I agree. I better do as it says. No, Yuki. <laughs> she was smart for one second. And then all of her brain cells fell out. It's like when you put like a piece of like something together and you plop it all in, but it's only together for a second. Wait, what? The flies aren't moving? That's strange. They did. What's this? Nothing? What is this? Someone is spilling all the grape juice. I got too used to the smarter characters. <laughs> yeah. Now we're Yuki. Back to being dumb. <laughs> ah yes, the winter fly is very common. Makes sense if it was summer. <laughs> Is it this? Look in the mirror? No? Nothing? Box is covered in snow. You don't say. Is there anything over here? Hello? This is gonna be a jump scare. Seven days. Oh God. What? Someone's down there. Was that a fucking <laughs> reference? <laughs> That's like playing a chapter of Danganronpa as Kitty Kitty, then going to Hagakure. <laughs> and I'm not Devil Survivor again. Ah! What was that? I think that was like a grudge reference or something. Oh boy. Huh? There's something shiny inside. It was too fast, I hardly noticed. <laughs> oh, Devil Survivor again. When are we doing that? That's a very good question, Sumdor. <laughs> I keep telling myself I want to play it, and then I play other games. <laughs> Got a pendant. I was actually thinking of doing Genshin today instead of this, but then I was like, no. Nah. Okay, we got the pendant. Will you forgive us now, Snowman Selma? Please, no grudges come after me. Please, no seven days. I already beat Devil Survivor multiple times, in fact. Is this what you're looking for? It sounded like the Dragon Ball sound when you run into an enemy. <laughs> Are you happy? A black ice pendant. Yes, this is what I've been looking for. Hey, you, you got out of character there with all your caps for a moment. Yuki put the pendant on the snowman. It reminds me of when you're playing Pokemon and everything's like lower cased except for when it's a Pokemon. <laughs> you felt that an evil presence had just disappeared. You, you are not Yukiko. Well, I already told you a while ago. I apologize. This pendant is the one that cleansed my corrupted soul. Huh? As you can see, this is not an ordinary pendant. The ice is actually white, and after it cleansed a corrupt soul, it will become black, possibly because it absorbs the darkness of human soul. Also, it's a grave steed. 
Are you one of the Kitty Hotter family? Well, not really. I'm just a top class assassin of the family. Yukiko's mother, Saeko Kirihara, gave me this special pendant. She was a very kind person, unlike her husband. You're a top class assassin? How did you die? <laughs> this is not an ordinary pendant by the totally ordinary snowman. <laughs> yeah, don't you get talked to on a normal basis by snowman? <laughs> I slipped in the shower. <laughs> I'd love if that's what he says. Execution. Well, Mr. Shoichi does not tolerate any kind of failure. I was decapitated by him personally. Later, my head put into a snowman. I guess it's inside the snowman. <laughs> Damn, he didn't slip in the shower. That's unfortunate. Kitty Hada? Kitty Hada? Kitty? Kitty kitty, how to kitty, how to kitty. I mean, I just got that idea right as you said that. I was like, kitty how to kitty how to how to kitty. <laughs> Go how to kitty yourself, kitty how to. You sure do do a lot of how to kitty. I've noticed. On the other hand, Miss Sayako mourned over my execution. She put the pendant she gave to me on the snowman. Top class assassins die all the time, just not John Wick. <laughs> but how do they die? Do they get assassinated by another assassin? One day, Yukiko took it from my grave. Since then, I can't remember what happens. Oh, I'm really sorry for taking your time hearing all those stories. Since I've been cleansed, the door should be able to be opened now. Thank you for everything, young miss. Now, I must also depart. Sayonara. Mata ne. Ja ne. Oyasumi. Soichi Kirihara sure is a ruthless man. Ridiculously not outnumbered. Only John Wick survives it all. <laughs> I wonder what's inside the house. Hey, Dad. Did you remember to record the Teletubbies episode today? Phone's not working. Dad? Oh, hey. I can save here. Don't mind the fadu. An evil presence prevented the door from opening. Okay, let's go grab that, uh, what, what was that? This voice. What? Oh, it's the Frenchie. Oh, welcome back home. You know, I was using like a scary voice for her, like, welcome back home. But um, we, we've established that she's French, so oh, welcome back home. This is not my home. Of course, it's not your home, silly. How is a French accent? It's like, oh, wee oui, oui. Hon, hon, hon. Oh, no, ho, oh, yeah. According to Payday, John Wick at most gets jailed. Not very French. <laughs> Sorry, sport, I wanted to record the backyard again. No, Dad! What is a French accent? Oh, yes, I'm like a croissant. First of all, do you even know that this is, that this is not your word? Just read every line as wee wee baguette baguette. First of all, do you even know that this is not your word? <laughs> oh, what do you mean by that? That this is not your word? No way. No way. Oui, oui. I'm pretty sure that you already know that you're in a lost dimension. Mr. Seichiro told me about that. And the only way to end this curse is... Do you know how to end this curse? I mean, you're me. We should work together. <laughs> me working with you like that's gonna like that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, by the way, something's waiting for you in the living room. Rise on to check it out. Mr. Snubbles reads any French as wee wee baguette. <laughs> they don't look French. Oh no, they've said wee wee before. They're French. 
They're evil, so they're French. We've established this. All French people in this game are evil. Why did she want to work together? Oh, she's not gonna talk to me no more. Okay, bye bye. How do you say goodbye in French? There's a katana. There is a katana in here, right? Yeah, a rusty katana. Damn it. Oh, hey, Dad. Y you did record my episode of Tally Tubbies, right? Is it Dad? Au uh, revoir. Not that I would know. You seem to know a lot of uh, French there, Twy. I, I remember last time you were pretty knowledgeable on French as well. I think you said you had to get a croissant at one point. Looking a bit sus there, Twy. Dad! Why are you here? Dad! Dad? Yukiko? Yes? Huh? Yukiko? What is it, Dad? You added the code to the end of my name. Yes, I am, Yuki girl. Daddy's kind of bored now. Mind if I... Rip your guts? What? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. You will never be resurrected, Yukiko. Why, Dad? Why? I'm not Yukiko. I'm your daughter, Yuki. Oh boy. Hey, don't you stand there. Grab the katana and kill him. Yes, finally. Huh? Hurry up or you'll be killed. Grab it. But he's my dad. And who are you? I'm sure Kage Ray. I can cast an exorcism spell, but it will take time. You better use the katana. Kind of concerned that the weird laugh did not tip her off that it wasn't her dad. <laughs> but he's my dad! He just tried to rip out your guts. Excuse me, Yuki? Right now, it's dead or alive. Quick. Finally, we get to use the frickin'... Bitch. Yeah, take the katana. Come here. I'm sorry, Dad. Finally. Finally, the game lets us take the katana. I'm bleeding so much. I can't feel my stomach anymore. Am I going to die here? <coughs> I think Mr. Snowball is hi there, bro. How you doing? Happy turkey day. How's your turkey day? <laughs> There's a spy. It's Snubbles. <laughs> a bogus. This is bad. I'm starting to lose my consciousness. Oh boy. We finally got the katana. Don't... Don't just make it end there. Wake up, Yuki. I'm stuffed. Too much food? Oh, what did you have for Thanksgiving dinner today? Snowball Wobbles? He said wee wee baguette. Did you say wee wee baguette, Snubbles? <gasps> just like a turkey. <laughs> Are we up in the hotel now? Oh no, we're not. We're in my room. Huh? Uh, I'm alive? The wound is gone too. Wait, can can ghosts touch people? I, I guess they can. Because it said last time with the Onio that when she touches you, she burns you. I had pork and rice. Ooh, delicious. What you had, Elio? I had turkey, mashed potatoes, and gravy uh, stuffing. Uh, I had a 
uh, chocolate swirl cheesecake, uh, pumpkin pumpkin pie, and there are cranberries, but I didn't eat any of them. Oh, and a and a roll. <laughs> I just want to still be able to run when your gut is cut open. <laughs> when you're very desperate. That's how. You're finally awake. Let me introduce myself once more. Dang, let me get some cheesecake. Sally, it's all gone. Archfiend, otherwise I'd still be eating it. <laughs> we do have cheesecake bites in the freezer though. I'm Shiro Kage. I'm an occultist and folklorist. I died during my investigation of the Kitty Hot Up Mansion. You're a dead person? How did you die? You didn't notice by the ethereal light coming off of him? I can't remember. All I know is that before I died, I met an Onyo in a blue kimono. It must be the one that chased me this morning. I don't really mind being dead. Now I can investigate this mansion easier than when I was alive. <laughs> I'm too jealous. I, I would share some with you if I could, Snubbles. <laughs> Elliot ate the whole cheesecake. No, no, no. I, di I did not eat the whole cheesecake. My family did. <laughs> I'll be emptying your freezer. Anyone trying to contest will get slashed. <laughs> I feel like that's a rude question to ask, Yuki. Yeah, what if he's got trauma from his death? It's kind of a strange... Sorry to hear. Did you see any people other than me? A while ago, I mean, a few minutes ago, I met a girl who's looking for you. A girl who's looking for me? Her name is Kayako. I guess you're an important person to her, considering her willingness to descend even further into this lost dimension. Kayako? Where is she? I can't really tell you where she is, but I think she's near this place somewhere. Okay, well, I'll just stay put right here and wait for Kayako to get to me. Thank God. She doesn't really know what's happening now. I guess she should find it out by herself. Let's check the ghost orb thing. Aw, Yuki's too dumb. She probably doesn't know how to find out what she needs for a ghost. <laughs> What will you do now? I don't know. In that case, why don't you go to Sayako Kirihara's room? You'll find more about all of this stuff and it's not very far from here. So we have ghost riding and ghost orb. When will we when will we get ghost ride the whip? Psycho Kirihara? Shuichi Kirihara's wife? Any information about the Kirihara family is located inside a room. Although it's not as much as the main archive that is located somewhere inside the mansion. Now I must excuse myself. Okay, bye. The main archive, huh? It's the one that Seijiro told me. And it's nowhere to be found. Ghost what? Ghost ride the whip! You never heard that term? Ghost ride the rip? I can't say it correctly. Ghost ride the whip? <laughs> Maybe there's an information regarding the archive inside Psycho's room. Okay, well, let me save first. Ghost ride the whip? Like a car? Y'all never heard the song with Ghost ride the whip? I can't even say it correctly. Ghost ride the whip. Y'all never heard of that song? Ghost ride the whip, ghost ride the whip. I feel old. I feel old. What was the name of that song again? Yeah, it, it's really just Ghost Ride the Whip? Or, no, 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 no. That's a movie. I'm talking about the song. I'm talking about the song. Song, Ghost Ride the Whip. Oh, it's just called Ghost Ride It by Mr. F.A.V. Y'all never, y'all never listen to Ghost Ride It? That ghost ride the whip was a thing Hollywood and Dead made up. It's by Mr. Fab. I just gotta listen to Ghost Ride. Ghost Ride the Whip. Ghost Ride the Whip. I think Mr. Snubbles will like it. I, I think at least out of everyone, Snubbles might like the song. 
Very tempted to make you say ghost ride the whip in Ubu speak. Ghost ride the whip! <laughs> I got no money. I got no money. There's a book titled The Ice Mirror which caught your attention. The ice mirrors are one of the Kirihata family's trademarks. They usually use it on people who want to be reborn, but without the Yuki Tensei. Where's the Shin Megami Tensei? The mirror reflects upon the person's soul and keeps it until the person is reincarnated. It should be noted that the mirror may only be used on a dead person. If a living person uses it, a very bad consequence will occur. I just looked it up. Do you like it? Is that bra a good bra or a bad bra? Am I in trouble? <laughs> the mirror will instead create a copy of the soul with a reverse personality. It's unknown what will happen after a copy is created. Okay, so that... It seems like we did that. The snow hex. Oh boy. Where's the snow grave? Good breath. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> In this last dimension, there's a holy field where anyone who gets absorbed by the dimension can heal themselves instantly. Oh, so it's what, what's right next to me. Uh, these fields are named the snow hex. The snow hexes can't be found easily. They're usually no located near a dangerous place. Uh, the hexes themselves are made from a person's hope to survive. Seems like the copy will become French. <laughs> However, once darkness has reached the hexes, they will disappear. Oh boy. So it's like limited use? Kirihata Family Part 4 Among the ruthless clan of the Kirihata, there's someone who is very kind and warm-hearted. Yukiko? That person is Shoichi Kirihara's wife, Saiko Kirihara. She's the most respected member of the family, even more than Shoichi. Her kindness is often criticized by Shoichi. Yo, Shoichi's a bitch! No one knows, however, that Saiko is a specialist in poisons and medicines. One of Shoichi's katana is imbued by her fa infamous poison, Sukuyomi. Of course they have the blade Sukuyomi. Where's Muramasa next? Despite those, Saiko sometimes secretly heals the family's injured enemies, usually by making the antidote of the poison and giving it for free, what? One day, Shoichi found out about this. He was unable to do anything about it, however, as the strongest warrior in the family is none other than Saiko. Yo, get fucked, bro. Shoichi also cared deeply for Saiko. She's the only one he ever loved. When Saiko finally died because of her illness, he became depressed. Also, it was the only time that Shuichi cried. Why is this worded so weirdly? It sounds like a kid was like me to write about the history of it and just like randomly includes like little facts because he just remembered off the top of his head. He's like, oh yeah, also it was the only time Shuichi cried. Oh yeah, I also forgot to bring up that one time how like she killed a man. There's a key on the table. The name Saiko is carved on the key. Okay, gonna go to Saiko's bedroom. All right, let's save. All right. I think here is a good place to end it for the night. We got to chapter two, so that's good. <laughs> and we will continue this another time. Uh, but for now, we're gonna switch games, so I'll see y'all later with this game. <laughs>